I'm going to make Carly into a fiery flaming redhead. So she is a hairdresser, which means her hair is a hot mess because we just like let anybody do our hair. So there's 90 million different techniques on here. So I'm going to start her off with a Malibu C CPR and color disruptor. Now I'm going to go through with my Nomad hair foil board. I'm using Oligo Pro and Olaplex. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to fish out all those blonde hairs. I had to go fishing, guys. So here I am just applying to the parts that aren't lightened. Now, a lot of people say, I could use a tint for this. Sure, I could, and it's not going to look as good. So I'm going to do it my way, and I'm going to lighten her slow and effectively to about a level eight. So I'm going to go in, like I said, and fish out all those pieces that are blonde. I'm not going to lighten those right now, but I am going to lighten them towards the end just to open them up a little bit to accept my my lightener that I'm going to put in there. Now, there's a big chunky right there, and I have to get that bad boy out of there. So I got to get those dark pieces, and then I got to take that guy out of there, and I'm going to slip another foil right underneath there, and I am going to pull my lightener down and fold that up. Now, I worked in two sections, in the back and the front, because I knew it was going to take me a long time. So now I'm applying it to her root area, the lightener, and it's a very light formula. I think I used a 10 volume in there. So now I'm going to work the front. I'm going to wait the back to process. And I'm going to stop and I'm going to rinse the back off in a little bit here because it's done. And I'm not going to let it sit and cook. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to fish those pieces out. And I'm just going to get those dark pieces up in there. Now here you can see I'm working the lightener through the ends just to make sure it kind of opens it up a little bit so it will accept my direct dye that I'm going to put on here. So now I'm going to work in the front. As you can see, her front pieces were already lightened to the lightness that I needed them to be. So I'm just kind of leaving those out and I will just work those in at the end when I pull the pieces through. And guys, I sped it up. I'm not beating her up. It always looks like I'm beating her up when I speed it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use a gloss just to fill the hair a little bit and a level seven red. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my red direct dye. Now I do custom mix this. I do put a little green in there to make it a little bit deeper. And she wanted it really, really bright and really fierce. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the red direct dye. And direct dyes have no oxidation, no developer required, guys. So here it is. So beautiful. It came out amazing. Absolutely beautiful. She was so happy with her hair. I was so happy with her hair. Took about six hours in all. So again, guys, the link is in the bio. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey, guys. And if you liked that video, don't forget to check out this one. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the ding dong.